Hello everybody, it is your boy Twin Plays here, back in that video, hope you guys are doing amazing. So recently we just left off with this TikTok and today I'm bringing you another Vibe Series tutorial. Now I know it's been a while since I've posted and I've done a Vibe Series. Um, guys, I've just been super busy and caught up with a lot of work and a lot of uh, just IRL stuff right now. So. I am so sorry about me being super busy. I, I don't know what to say rather than I'm just trying my hardest. Um, I've been really working hard. I've been working with two other companies right now uh, doing the Coconut Tycoon and also Dora's Hangout, which is coming out very soon, which you should check out in the, um, right now. Um, but you will enjoy it uh, very much when it comes out. I'm just trying my hardest. But I decided to bring out this little video because I did have this on hand and I know you guys have been looking for something kind of like this. Uh, but just know I did not make it from scratch though I did um, edit it, edit, edit it. Um, I actually had Zer help me out on that so thank you Zer. Um, but so today we're going to be looking at a settings GUI. Now uh, this GUI is different from the one we recently did. It's actually better. Um, the way it performs and the way we toggle the buttons and everything. It's just cleaner and nicer too at the same time. Um, so I'll quickly show you guys what it looks like and everything. But like I said, you guys, I'm so sorry I haven't been posting. I've just been so busy and I hope you understand. But we're going to go into detail in this video. So please feel free to watch this video to the end because you will not regret it. Um, but yeah, so if you are new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on that post notifications. If, um, if not, it's really nice if you do. And... Um, also, join the Discord in the description because we do do giveaways there, and um, I do help out everyone that's been there, and I have been talking to everyone that is there, so if you think I've been absent, I have not been. I've been talking to everyone there, so that's the other good thing. But, um, yeah, and also this model is in the description, so actually before we do this, let's go and grab this model. So you're going to go to the description and look for this model right here. It's going to be the settings UI V2, and it's going to say advanced on it. Um, and basically you're just going to click this or hit try and studio, or you can download it one or the other, your choice. Um, and you are going to be able to import this into your studio and into your game. Now, um, what you're going to do is you're going to go to toolbox, go to your inventory right here, and I'll actually just delete this one, this one, and you're going to click this right here, click okay. And bada boom. Now it's going to bring in this big thing right here. Uh, don't be bothered by it. Um, that is the actual uh, particle emitters. Uh, I'll have to show you that in a second. But um, basically, we're going to get all these folders, and I want you guys to ungroup them in the right places. So we have starter GUI, which we're going to put this in starter GUI. Um, actually, no, we're going to do that in a second. I need to do that in a second. Uh, starter player script, sorry. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and put this in replicated storage, and then we're going to put this in lighting. Bada beam, bada boom. I'll just get rid of that atmosphere, because why not? Oh, and I already did this, so... Yep, and then um, actually what you're going to do is, yeah, you're going to want to make sure this part right here, go into frame, uh, local script, vibe settings. You're going to want to make sure this is scaled to the right place and where it's going to be placed, bada bing. And then what you're going to do is grab this and put this in starter GUI. Perfect. So um, going over this, we're going to quickly just show you what it looks like in game. And yeah, let's do quickly do that. All right, so I did forget to test one thing out um, before I have this. Um, I accidentally forgot to include this uh, event thing. I totally forgot about it. So I'll have to add that in. You'll just look at that in a second. Um, but basically what you're going to be doing is you're going to click this right here or you can hit V, one or the other. And this is going to open the settings for you. And yes, I did fix this so it shouldn't be getting stuck or anything like that. And it will not close if other GUIs are open. So what this is is basically just a settings ui and it has hovers so you can see what it means and it has the buttons so if i were to click vibe mode it will change it to vibe mode for me and then uh you will be able to um get everything like that now this says that because i think i deleted the wrong uh, atmosphere so that's my fault but as you can see that's what happens and has that sound and it does that so don't worry that error should not happen for you um, we got dar dar dark chat bubbles, so ACF, um, type that in. That's going to be white, as you can tell. Um, and then, of course, we have hide players, hide player tags, and then mute music and reduce lag, which is going to do that. And then toggle time, uh, which I guess does work. Oh, yeah, well, you know what? I guess it does work. I'm being kind of stupid. Um, so, yeah, toggle time, basically, and then vibe mode. Um but that's about it. So I actually left out a few things because I want you guys to try and create your own. Um, I'm going to show you how you can do that 
it's it's a little difficult but if you get the script if you already have the script down and you know what you're doing um it's easier to add things into this but um yeah i just got you the, the default kind of stuff pretty easy um but yeah that's about it and, and these do work when you do have people in the game or the tags or the mute music or reduce lag all that kind of stuff um as you can tell it says yield because i don't have any overhead uis on me right now but um that's about it so Let's quickly go and look into this. You're going to love this. So let's say uh, let's quickly go check this out. All right. So moving into the easy stuff first, we just have uh, the icon and rep case storage. This is top bar plus. Um, you can get rid of this if you want and don't want to have to do top bar. That's your choice. Um, I'd recommend using top bar. Top bar. It's very um, professional now and it's kind of just like the cleaner version of doing all the GUIs. I, I really love it. Um, but then we have the start as you have course and then we have the top bar script right here uh, Basically, we just have the image. That's the image. That was like that settings icon You can change that right here. You can change the text open settings. You can change the key bind the gradient um, But this is a little script to tween it in pretty easy. You can mess with all this if you know what you're doing your choice um, I made it so it's all set up set up and able for you guys to do so checking out the settings UI um, as of right now we have enabled on and then reset on spawn off um, and inside here we have a frame and we have a hover frame now the hover frame We're just gonna quickly look at so if you want to go to visible and turn that property on It's just gonna do that thing in the top left. Don't really worry about it But what that is is actually the frame that when you hover over the buttons It's gonna put that in it. That's what's gonna look like so you can customize this all you want You can change the colors of it You can do literally anything and then you can change the title by going in here um, the label doesn't matter it's going to be changed either way but you can change the text color the fonts um, everything like that is is based on your liking but then you just want to make sure visible is back to off and then you're good um, now we have the main frame now you cannot see it right now but it is visible so what you're going to go to do is you're going to go to position and i want you to remember 1.5 because that is basically what we're going to be doing um, to set it back down to not be able to see but you're just going to get rid of that one and you're going to put zero right there and it's going to bring it up for you um, now you shouldn't actually worry about these uh, gui it should be auto scaling i'll have to make sure that works um, but i'll update this model guys by the way after this when i uh, publish this but um let me just bring this in for you so you guys can see. Sorry. So this is what it's going to look like. Now, inside uh, frame, you're going to have a few things. We have the gradient, which is just the gradient. You can go inside here, go to UI gradient. Um, you can mess with this or you can delete this. Like I said, it's always your choice, your preference. Um, then the pattern, of course. Then we have the local script. We have the scrolling frame. And then we have the title. Um, title, like I said, you can change this to anything you want. Um, you guys should know what you'll be doing right here. That's about it. Then we have inside scrolling frame, we have bubble chat, high players, mute music, player tag, reduced lag time, and vibe mode. Um, so these are the buttons. Now, creating a new button is pretty simple. And I don't know, I could teach you one real quick. It'll just be pretty simple. So if I hit duplicate right now, this is a UI grid layout. So we will just duplicate from there. And you will just want to name this the new button. So let's just say new button. And then inside it, you're going to have a few things. So inside each button, we have toggle notif, tooltip, and toggle button. Tooltip, you want to go in here and change the value to what it is. So we're going to say new button. That is what is going to be the hover frame text label. So inside the value, that is going to be the hover frame text label. And here is the toggle notif. So you're actually good to just leave that like this. Don't actually worry about this. I mean, don't touch it. Um, and then we have the toggle button. Button, you don't need. It's should be toggle label. I don't know why I said toggle button. Um, but you're going to go in here and you're just going to change this to whatever it is. So I'm going to say new button. Um, and that's going to be the new button for you. Then you will go into the real scripting, um, which we'll talk about in a second. So that's about it. Now, if you do want the scrolling frame to be longer, one thing you can do is you go into scrolling frame, go to properties, and you're going to go to um, size, canvas size right here. You're going to change it to, and you can change it to three. And that should make it bigger for you. Um, I think there is, oh, yeah, maybe let me do that to one. No, no, no. Wait, wait a second. I'm, I'm not doing that right. Two. Let's see what's going on right there. Score bot thickness. Um, it should normally be working like that. Uh, oh, UI grade layout. That's why. Um, the cell size and cell padding, you're going to want to fix that uh, right here. So just mess with those labels and positions and um, numbers and you should be good. Um, so let's talk about the buttons in the main script. Um, inside here, we have a few things. We have the tick sound, which you can change to your liking, by the way. Like I said, it has a pitch sound effect. Um, then the vibe settings, you can change these particle emitters based on your choice. Um, and that's about it. Um, going inside this script, it's a little difficult to understand, but I know some of you guys will get it uh, down quickly. 
So we have the tween service, I mean the service for players, the service for the tween service. Then we have the workspace sound. This is going to be the music. So change that to the name of the sound in the workspace. So it should just be called sound or global sound, your choice, um, what it is. Then we have the cache, the shadows and the players and then player. These are the locals um, for the script to we'll talk about in a second. We grab the scrolling fame, the local player. Oh, it looks like we already did that. I don't know what I'm talking about. I should keep both of them. I kind of forgot which one if we use player, kind of forgot. Um, and then we have the mouse, the hover frame, the visible and player UI. This is a Boolean, which is just be set to false because this is what we're using for the hover. Now, um, before each script, I guess you could say each button, we have a mouse hover. Um, and I'll talk about that in a second, but this is the mouse move and hover function um it's basically checking if it's visible and if it's not then we're going to set that hover frame to visible and um we're setting the position of it to where the mouse is so that's where we're talking about uh oh, hovering over now right here tooltip we're going to go um this is going to be the tooltip for whatever is the next button so we have scrolling frame dot time dot tooltip dot mouse enter so when they enter that tooltip area so when they enter over here it's going to put that value as the hover frame and the mouse is already going to know that. Um, and then visible equals false. So that's kind of what we're doing is we're setting that key thing to visible. And if it's visible, if it's not visible, um, then we're setting the hover frame visible. I kind of weird to say that um, you don't need to worry about that. Don't touch that. But then we have a uh, local toggle variable, which can be set to false. And this is for, yeah, we're creating a new toggle variable every time we have this new function or a new button. Um, so this is the day and night, and this is actually going with every single button. Um, so inside here, we're going to go to the, uh, time button down here, and we're going to check if they click the button, if they clicked it and toggles false and all that kind of stuff. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to do the tween position, and this is where we're going to tween right here. And this is, we're going to set the color. So this was already white. Now, if it's, um, if it's been enabled already, then we're going to set it back to false. But right here, this is when we're setting it to true and this is when it's going to be green. So that's when you should, you'll should you know it's on or off is this will be on. I mean off, this will be on. Now, really how this works is this is the only actual script in here. So this is what we added really basically. Um, we changed the lighting and we just did the night dot value. Um, and I'll have to show you about that in a second because I forgot to fix that. Um, actually, it's in here. Sorry. So let me do that real quick. In local script, this is the night value. And we'll double check that by uh, going to the events and going to change I'm on client event. I'll have to just add that right now. So events, uh, just a folder to hold in your events. I'd recommend having it. Um, pretty simple. Um, remote event. And then we're going to go to uh, change time. That's what it should be called. And done. You're done. Um, so that's about it for that one. Now, dark, dark bubble chat, like I said, so now we have a new button. Now we have a new visible function to uh, put that hover, uh, the hover frame. Then we have a new toggle. Then we do the whole thing. Now, like I said, so below tick play, this is all of the, um, actual scripts. So this is what we're adding. Now this, I actually didn't do myself. So like I said, this is like, um, just setting the black right here. I think you can tell this is white, but then right here it's black. So that's where we're getting the, um, text from. But that's about it. Don't even worry about that. Now, hide players, same thing. I added this, basically. Um, so this is the on part. Uh, this is going to be setting the players inside the table. I did a tutorial on this earlier. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, then just worry about that later. Um, then we have the overhead function. This is the uh, displaying the overheads over the head or not. Now, if be aware, if you do not have the uh, GUIs parented to the head, um, and they're parented to the humanoid rear part. I mean, if they're not parented to the humanoid rear part, they're parented to the head. You need to change this right here back to head. Um, you guys will know that. I know you should, some of you will know that. So make sure you do that. Um, but everyone who has my overhead GUIs, it's just leave it. Um, but then of course, like I said, create a new hover function or just whatever, click new toggle button. Then we go into the function of clicking it. So right here, um, nothing's going on. Um, we don't need to worry about this. This is just going to be checking the toggle, but when they click it in general, we're just going to do overhead equals not overhead. And then we're going to turn off the overhead basically. So it's pretty simple. Then we have the vibe mode, a uh, new hover, new button. Then we do all of this right here, which is going to give us the vibe color. Um, pretty cool, right? Then we have the, uh, the mute music, which is super simple. It's just setting the workspace volume to one and zero when it's off. You can mess with that. Then this is the graphics button. This is where we're just grabbing every part in workspace and your game, and we're changing it to 
um, the plastic material so people don't lag. Uh, pretty simple. Like I said, this is off, this is on. Then we have these two functions down here. So let's quickly create a new button. So I'm just going to create some space for me and we're going to say new button. Now this is for any button you want to do. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab this right here and we're going to paste this. Okay. This is toggle seven. So this is from the last. We're going to go toggle eight equals false. Okay. Then we're going to do scrolling frame and then this is reduced lag. We don't want that. We want new button. So see how that already popped up. Then you go here, new button. Then you go here, new button. So this is a new button name. Then we are going to actually just straight up copy and paste this right here. So that's the cool part about all this, guys. It's super easy to just copy and paste. So now you can just delete this. Uh, actually, you just keep that off so you're recognizing it. And there you go. Um, now you can also just like, let's say the new button, we want to just test something, which we'll test in a second. You can just go print. Oh, I did not mean to do that. You can print and be like on new button. And then we can do print uh, off new button. Now, the really big thing to this, oh, then you need to do one more thing. I totally forgot almost. So, scrolling frame, it's dot reduce lag. We don't want that. We want new button. Anything with the reduce lag or anything with that pass button name, change that. And bada boom, bada beam, you're done. And you can change the uh, green to whatever color you want. So, like, I'll just do, like, a red for fun. Um, and you're done, guys. Like, you're literally done. So, it's, it's just so simple to mess with this. Like, I just want to tell you that. It's so simple to mess with this. So... Now, um, we're all good. So say we're done editing. We're going to close everything up. We're going to go to frame and we're going to set this to 1.5. Bada beam. Now, we're actually going to quickly go test this again and I'll explain to you what I did. All right. So we're already loaded in um, and then we have the new button. So boop, on new button, off new button, on, off, off, on, 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 off, on, on, off. And as you can see, it worked perfectly fine. So there you go. Super simple. Literally, like, if you can get a script down, you'll figure it out. It's not hard making new buttons. The only hard part is making the script, like, to do what the function of the button is. So, I'd recommend for a test, see how this vibe mode is purple and stuff? I recommend making another color mode and testing out a way of changing the lighting. Now, I really, like, I know you guys can do this, so just try your best and you will figure it out. I 100% believe in you. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. It means so much to me, you guys, and I, I'm just having a lot of fun right now. So thank you guys, and I am trying to post as much as possible. Just know I'm waiting for Doors Hangout to come, come out, and then I'll be back on my grind. But um, yeah, you guys, I will see you guys in the next one. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.